It's common in the lab to make a solution by dissolving a solid in water. But it's also common to make a solution from an existing solution. And that's what a dilution is. It's taking an existing solution and adding water to make a new solution. So dilution, the process of adding solvent, it's usually water, to a standard solution to achieve a desired concentration. So you're probably wondering, what is a standard solution? Well, a standard solution is nothing more than a solution whose concentration is accurately known. Um, just to give you an idea for um, some solutions that we order as stock solutions, here's some common ones and their concentrations. When we order sulfuric acid, it comes as 18 molar. Nitric acid is ordered as 16 molar, and hydrochloric acid is 12 molar. Uh, these are very concentrated acids. Um, this is a very high concentration. So don't lose sight of what's going on here, though. What we have is a solution of known concentration. And then what we're going to be doing is taking some of that solution and adding water to it to make a new solution. And that's called a dilution. And here's the formula for that. We have initial conditions, and we have final conditions. Now, it's very important that we know what these M's and V's actually mean. So before we jump into problems, um, let's carefully define what each of these are. M1, that's the molarity of the stock solution before we perform the dilution, so before we add water. V1, that's the volume of stock solution that is going to be diluted. Or this is the amount of water, sorry, the amount of solution that we will be adding water to. M2, that's the molarity of the new solution after the dilution or after we've added water to it. And V2, well, of course, that's the final volume of the new solution after we've performed the dilution. So once again, here's what's going on. We have a solution of known concentration. We're going to be taking a portion of that solution and adding water to it. That will create a new solution that has a new molarity and a new volume.